The Abu Dhabi Investment Authority is a sovereign wealth fund owned by Emirate of Abu Dhabi founded for the purpose of investing funds on behalf of the government of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. It manages the Emirati Euro unregistered trademark S excess oil reserves, estimated to be as much as $500 billion. Its portfolio grows at an annual rate of about 10% compounded. ADIA has never published how much it has in assets but estimates have been between $300 billion to approximately $875 billion USD. The Sovereign Wealth Fund Institute puts the figure at $773 billion US dollars. History, in 1967, Abu Dhabi Emirate created the Financial Investments Board which operated within its Department of Finance and was responsible for managing the Emirate's excess oil revenues. However, in 1976, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the founding president of the United Arab Emirates and leader of Abu Dhabi made the decision to create the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority instead and separate it from the government as an arm's length organization with its own management. The goal was to invest the Abu Dhabi government Euro unregistered trademark S surpluses across various asset classes, with low risk. At the time it was novel for a government to invest its reserves in anything other than gold or short-term credit. Even today, investment in short-term paper remains the strategy for the vast majority of countries. Investments ADIA manages a substantial amount of capital, and is one of the world's larger investment funds. Due to its size, the fund has been influential in international finance. In 2008, ADIA co-chaired the International Working Group of 26 Sovereign Wealth Funds that produced the generally accepted principles and practices of sovereign wealth funds. These principles were created to demonstrate to home and recipient countries in the international financial markets that sovereign wealth funds had robust internal frameworks and governance practices and that their investments were made only on an economic and financial basis. 20-year and 30-year annualized rates of return for the ADIA portfolio were 7.6% and 8.1%, respectively, as of December 31, 2010. ADIA is one of the largest sovereign wealth funds in the world. Today ADIA invests in all the international markets of euro equities, fixed income and treasury, infrastructure, real estate, private equity and alternatives. ADIA's global portfolio is broken down into subfunds covering a specific asset class. Each asset class has its own fund managers and in-house analysts covering it. Almost every asset class is managed both internally and externally. Overall between 70% and 80% of the organization a Euro unregistered trademark S assets are managed outside and over the last few years the fund has become more indexed which given its unique asset liability structure is somewhat perplexing. The Abu Dhabi Investment Authority is a major purchaser of U.S. institutional real estate through various sub-entities. It often buys partial interest ownerships with leading real estate managers. Many of ADIA's investments have decreased substantially since investments were made at market peaks in 2007 and 2008. The $7 billion investment in Citigroup has lost approximately 90% of its value as of November 26, 2009, two years after it acquired a sizable stake in the bank. Its investments in global real estate at the market top in 2008 have also decreased substantially in value. Though it talks of its long-term success in generating returns, the fact that it's moved closer to the index and manages most of its funds through external third-party fund managers shows that its tolerance for risk-taking is greatly diminished over the years. However, ADIA's ratio of third-party fund managers is being actively managed. In 2006, between 70% and 80% of the organization the Euro unregistered trademark S assets were managed outside with a name to bring that down to between 60% and 70% some products have a higher proportion of funds placed with external managers than others. Who? On May 27, 2013, ADIA published its 2012 review, with an overview of its activities during the past year as well as an explanation of its approach to investing a Euro strategy governance and risk management. Board of Directors, the board members currently serve for a period of three years, and can be renewed. They are appointed by a MIRI decree. 
The current board dates back to the April 2010 reshuffle and it was fully renewed April 2013. Its current constitution is as follows, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zulaid al Nayyan, Chairman, H. H. Sheikh Sultan bin Zulaid al Nayyan, Representative of His Highness the President of the State, H. H. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zulaid al Nayyan, H. H. Sheikh Mansour bin Zulaid al Nayyan, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Presidential Affairs, H. H. Sheikh Hamd bin Zulaid al Nayyan, Managing Director, H. H. Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Zulaid al Nayyan, Member of the Executive Council, Mohammed Habrush al Suwaidi, Head of the Department of Finance, Abu Dhabi, Hamad Mohammed al Har al Suwaidi, Head of the Department of Finance, Abu Dhabi, Khalil Mohammed Fulavi. Former important board members include Ia, Sheikh Ahmed bin Zulaid al Nayyan, appointed as managing director in 1997, while still in his 20s. He died accidentally in 2010 and was replaced by his half brother Sheikh Hamd bin Zulaid al Nayyan. He very much symbolized the growth of the fund during the 1990s and early 2000s. Khalifa Muhammad Khalifa al Kindi, appointed as deputy managing director in 1997. He served until 2007, when he was dispatched to manage the newly established Abu Dhabi Investment Council. Key personnel, as of 2013, members of ADIA's investment and management team include, Tom Arnold, Head of Americas, Real Estate, Glenn Beamson, Chief Technology Officer, John Paul Villan, Chief Strategist, Ted Chu, Chief Economist, Keith Collins, Chief Accounting Officer, Pascal de Hamel, Head of European Real Estate Investments, Gregory Eckersley, Global Head of Internal Equities, Eduardo Favrin, Head of Latin America Operations, Mark Kierstad, Chief Financial Officer, Private Equities Department, James Kester, Chief Investment Officer, Private Equities, Colm Lanigan, Head of Principal Investments, Private Equities Department, John McCarthy, Global Head of Infrastructure, Bill Schwab, Global Head of Real Estate, Brian Shepard, Global Head of International Operations, Ben Weston, Global Head of Alternative Investments, References